Hi, my name's Leanne and I'm the store manager at Woodstock Home and Hardware and today I'm going to demonstrate how to remove wallpaper. So ideally, if you have a paper with a thick vinyl coating, you want to scour the surface. I'd probably take some 80 grit sandpaper or uh, if you want to buy the extra tiger tool that they recommend that would work as well. Uh, so you want to rough up that shiny surface. So then when you go to apply your wallpaper remover, it can penetrate the paper. So I'm not going to do that today because I think we have a paper that um, doesn't, isn't very shiny and I think this should work well on its own. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spray the paper starting up high and working down. Now obviously this is a small surface with my little mock wall here. So if I were doing a big room, I wouldn't choose to use this hand sprayer because already my hand is getting a little tired. <laughs> um, so in replace of the hand sprayer, you could mix this solution into a garden pump sprayer and then you'd have the wand to spray everything. That method takes, is a little more messy as far as needing drop cloths and things underneath your paper. Uh, another way to apply the remover would be to roll it on, which works quite well. So now that I've applied a pretty generous and uh, hopefully even amount of um, solution, um, we're going to let it sit. The label says 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to test an area to see how well it's gonna, the paper is going to pull away from the wall. So now we're going to see if we can get some of this to peel away and it looks like it's coming off quite nicely so far looking like we're really going to score here maybe look at that See how it's just falling away? That is like really good. It's working. And any little excess paper that doesn't come off, we're just going to spray again. I mean, obviously, you can't saturate it to the point of where your, your sheetrock gets too wet, but the whole key to removing wallpaper is to really try to get it as wet as you can without the sheetrock absorbing it, because look, it just falls right off. You know, we've got a little residue up here, so we're going to take a flat edge, try not to gouge your sheetrock, and just lift that off. Now, if we hadn't gotten as lucky, and that hadn't ripped off piece by piece and we still had little pieces left, I'd just repeat, repeat it, wet, wet it with the stripper again, let it sit, and then take my flat edge and, I mean, I still have some paper on here. So we've peeled the, most of the paper. We still have a little paper backer left on the sheetrock. So ideally you want to take a, a contractor sponge and some hot, hot water, as hot as your hands can stand it, 
wring out the sponge and wipe your walls down to remove, that'll help remove the rest of this little paper and any um, adhesive that was left from the wallpaper. Let your walls dry, sand them, and I would recommend if you're going to obviously paint them after and not hang new paper uh, to use a oil-based primer to help seal in any remaining adhesive that you might have not have removed. And then you're ready to go.